All right then, tier eight game, mostly tier sevens though. <laughs> we have a graph speed on our team. Hmm. Well, a preview of what we're fighting for, I suppose. All right then. I am told many things of this ship. I am told that it is the ship that would be best suit my playstyle. I am told that it loves to brawl and should be able to survive the rigors of my incompetent captaining. Let's hope you're all right. The Schlacht beginnt. I'm also told that the AP rounds basically do everything on this boat, and there is not really a reason to actually shoot AP. Jesus Christ, this rudder shift, what the fuck? It's like it's floating around. It's a little bit slowed on the draw, but, uh, huh. That moves around pretty quickly. Huh. But, like I said, the AP rounds basically do everything. The guns... This is a battleship, however, the guns are only 11 inches, uh... Well, 11 inches wide. They're small guns for a battleship, but that means they have a very, very small chance of overmatching smaller targets. It actually has a pretty good chance to actually citadel destroyers, which is actually something not terribly bad, since one-shotting destroyers in a battleship is actually a pretty big, good accomplishment. And she also has a wall-to-wall -wall secondary guns. I'm putting a lot in these. Fa I'm putting a lot of faith in these secondary guns, folks. However, it looks like my team is all basically just abandoning this northern point, and I don't want to get into a fight with myself. I'd rather not. Two of myself, especially. So we're just gonna turn the boat around and wait for this. Uh, wait for this situation to improve. Alright, we're scratched up a little bit, but we're fine. And we missed all of those shots. Ow! Alright then. Two Sharn Horse. We're gonna need backup for that. Right, Cleveland, though. Cleveland, we don't need backup for. Cleveland, we can take. Assuming we actually hit him. That's quite a nice spread you got there, Sharnhorst. But we actually need to get those on target first. Edinburgh, huh? Okay, so we got those we want to kill. However, we want to avoid the other two Sharnhorsts. And uh, this 20 second reload time for a battleship. Quite nice, if I must say. But, uh, we have to actually have to sight in this goddamn Cleveland one of these fucking days. That should get us in there. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get in the ship! Okay, then. 2,000. Not bad. Looks like one of the other Sharn horses is breaking off, but now they have a New Mexico out there. Let's see if we can spook this Edinburgh. Uh, uh, uh. I like the rate of fire, but, well, we've yet to actually hit anything. Well, substantial, but one of those shots going through there is actually pretty damn good. Oh, look at that. We're still pretty isolated here, so I don't really want to get into a fight with these guys, but, you know, the best we can do here is probably annoy the shit out of them and run away. Uh, if, uh or actually hit him at all! 
But that's my core accuracy. Not the boat. Those... might be a little bit too far ahead, actually. Huh? Yeah. Those are a little bit way, way in front of the bow. Oh, the one did hit, but they shattered on the bow. He's turning away now, and he's slowing down, looks like. Well, actually, no, those might actually get in here. Come on, get in. Ah! Uh, come on! No damage. Okay, then. We'll deal with the lighter cruisers here. We've also got a destroyer to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I see him, I see him. I just can't hit him now. Don't worry th about a thing, Kagro. I got this. However, the Shorn Horse are now turning around and coming towards me. Boy, we are just completely fucking isolated from the rest of our team, aren't we? This is a pretty shitty situation. I'm not terribly worried about the Edinburgh actually penetrating my belt. However, I am worried about his torpedoes, so that would be something to watch out for. Also, the other things over there. Those battleships pick a fucking direction already? Ooh. Fabuki! Target the ship! Yes, you're going to launch torpedoes at me, I know. Alright, so now we gotta worry about this shit. Yep, that's what I thought. God damn it! Ah! Ah! Damn it! Son of a bitch. Can I get the Cleveland now? Can I recover this just a little bit? That fucking over penetration, of course. Okay, then. I still got the Cleveland. I fucked that one up royally, but you know me and torpedoes. Okay, then. Alright, I think I can work with this ship. Hmm. That was an increasingly terrible situation, and we didn't manage... Hmm. Hmm. Right. Don't go around the horns. Turn around and sort of loop back. Alright, we've got enough armor for that, I suppose. Alright. Alright, Sharn Horse. We can work with you. Hmm. And our entire team is now finally actually getting into the fight, so we're probably actually going to win this. You know, after sitting there, basically being stranded. Ooh. Wow. That New Mexico got fucked. <laughs> Where's our Graf Speedo? Oh, there he is. Huh. Someone... He spent $99 to get this, folks. Them torpedoes, though. Hmm. Now, essentially... What we have here is the ship that I was just playing, but Tier 6 and, uh, well, a cruiser. It's made of complete glass, but it has essentially the same guns. Not exactly the same guns, 
but more or less the same guns. I expect many things out of the Scharnhorst and the Graf Spee once we actually get to it. But let's have a look-see and see how he does. What can you do in a salvo, Graf? Hmm. It's about 4,000 damage dead on against uh, North Carolina, which is a tier 8 battleship, right? Yeah. Hmm. What's the range on those torpedoes that he's already firing them? Oh, it's the. Oh! Ooh! Ooh, goodness! Well, that's HE against that target, which are gonna penetrate with, without over-penetrating, so there you go. Alright. Hmm, he's a half-decent shot. However, we seem to have lost all of our, well... As, why, as I was sitting here, our team suddenly decided they were all going to up and die. Well, that's that's a problem. And as I said, she is made of complete and utter glass. But not exactly glass in the way that it's helpful for destroyers. Glass as in that special kind of glass that is just hard enough to catch incoming AP rounds and make them detonate exactly in the Citadel. Which is the major fault against the whole boat. It's also why it has the battleship repair party, because it's going to be bleeding hit points all over the waves as long as it... well, as, as wherever it goes. So... It is a glass cruiser, but... It's a very special glass cruiser. And everyone seems to be having a lot of trouble actually hitting him. Hmm. Hmm. He has pretty good damage in a salvo, and those guns are extremely accurate. They're extremely accurate to make up for the fact that the ship is made of complete glass and it can't actually engage at close range reliably. Video game balance! Hmm. Oh, can this Graf Speed get this North Carolina? That is the question of the hour. I think he might be able to do it. Das gegnerische Team hat die Führung übernommen. Those shots are hitting. Well, they seem like they're hitting. I didn't see any splashes, so I'm assuming he actually got him. Hmm. Her secondary armament doesn't seem to be much to write at home about, so she's not exactly going to be brawling either, but it does have... She does have quite a few deck guns. 
So I suppose that'll be somewhat useful. Hell, the Yugen's deck guns are actually useful on occasion. You saw them a couple of rounds ago, just sort of pick at the Kagero. Well, a round ago. Nothing. Also, the other major detractor against the graph speed is that it is slow. He might have trouble catching up to that North Carolina. But it doesn't look like we're actually going to be able to... Well, it doesn't look like the graph speed is actually going to be able to get this one before the game runs out. Oh well. Hey! <laughs> hmm. Does seem like a fairly nice boat, though. There's that motherfucking food. Put him in the fucking drink for us, please. Thank you, Grafsby. As it Sharnor's help. You well, actually no, if he keeps running, he'll be fine. Hmm. Ouch. Well, it didn't instantly explode, which is what I was a well, which is what I was expecting from a full broadside like that. But eh, all right. Hmm. It seems like he's taken a hit. I mean, we've already accepted it's glass, but it's not obnoxious glass. It doesn't look like it's going to explode instantaneously, which is what everyone seems to you know make it sound like. That's secondary fire from that Sharn Horse. We own that boat now. This is what we're going to be wheeling around in a bit. Once I have... Well, actually, no. Once I... I suppose once I get the, uh... Ooh. Once I get the captain's accuracy skill up for secondaries, I did actually, uh, take my old... Whatchamacallit? My old Nuremberg captain that I had laying around? Well, it seems like it can run away and keep fighting. It just said he's not really doing any damage. Because he wants to shoot AP for some reason at a Sharnhorst. Alright. She can take a hit. And she's fast enough to, you know, kind of keep some distance, though they're, she's not going to outrun anybody. And we didn't really make all that much XP that round in that, uh, well, in, in our Sharnhorst, but... Well, uh, not every test run is going to be, uh, <laughs> a successful one, but we will keep going. Because that is how we will eventually win. We will, uh, walk off our shame and stomach our, uh our failures, and we will eventually succeed if we just keep going through blind force repetition. That's the secret to victory, folks. Okay. Tier 9 game. A little bit harder. Enemy Missouri on the enemy team. Hmm. Colorado. Lots of battleships. Lots of destroyers, too. Alright, so we're gonna have to watch ourselves. Same map, though. 
Let's see if we can actually stick with our stay actually stay with our team, but no, no, we're up here again. Alright. But what do we got with us? We got the North Carolina. Alright. The Iowa's down there. This looks like a pretty Oh, this looks like a pretty okay force to hold up this area. If we actually hold up this area. We even have a blue boat slot to guide our path. And also, now that I've seen the, um, hmm, the HE rounds are quite effective against, uh, well, against destroyers, as seen by the graph speed. He has essentially the same guns as us. They're slightly different, they're more accurate, but they have less penetration at long range, which is actually an even better thing against the destroyers, I suppose? But they are essentially the same guns. So... The Sharnars is actually a pretty good, uh... I suppose, training vessel for the Graf Spee in terms of gunnery. We're not going to be able to pull the shit that I expect us to be able to pull in this. But we'll enjoy the Sharnhorse while we have her. So let's see if we can actually make this a success. Looks like everybody's going to take C, so we're going to be moving in this formation. Send up our catapult fighter. Away she goes. Hmm. Alright, so. We have learned in this boat that destroyers are still a fucking menace. As always, so we should probably keep our distance against them and try and actually hit the mid-range. I suppose once we have the five-point commander skill for increased accuracy secondaries, we could probably try that shit some more, but, uh, well. Let's not push our luck. But we'll push our luck in engaging ships far larger than us, because I'm just me. Alright. Logami, huh? Those should hit. Or get close. Might have to adjust a little bit farther ahead. Yep, 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 yep. Farther ahead. Come on, reload. The one thing I do like about these guns is they reload fast. That's good. Usually I fucking want to kill myself when I'm playing battleships because of the reload time. But we need to actually... Get a hang, get the hang of the, uh, the ballistics of this ship. Bounces. Atego Senpai, where are you going? The battle's that way! <laughs> okay, so now we got that fucking Turpet's way to hell over there, but he can't see us. So we're gonna kind of guide through the smoke here and see if we can actually get closer to that Mogami, who's probably gonna be turning around, so he's still probably gonna be in front of us. So I expect to see him right about where the camera's looking, and now we're detected. But here's our secret. We're just gonna dive right into the smoke. What's the range of our torpedoes here? Six kilometers. Yeah, those aren't gonna be useful here. Ooh. Oh, is that how we're gonna do that? Also, hit the cockro. <laughs> okay, wait. But we learned. We don't chase the destroyers like that. Ow. That's the turpets. That's the Mogami. Way the fuck over there. Now I'm in a bad spot. It's the destroyers. We have to get rid of the fucking destroyers. Let's not get, you know, absolutely nailed by those fucking uh, torpedoes. Ah, uh, now I'm on fire. Ah! Nope. We are in a battleship, we can handle that. 
However, the torpedoes is still gonna be a problem. Smoke, huh? Oh look, an overpenetration, what a surprise. Let's launch our own spread of torpedoes at him just to fuck with him. See if we can get a sh shot off on that Mogami. Oh look, he's at the map boundary. What a shock and surprise. Okay, now we're gonna turn the boat in. Hmm, okay. We avoided the torpedoes. Ow! Of course. Wir haben ein Leck unterhalb der Wasserlinie. Wir laufen schnell voll. Fucking destroyers. Oh, there's the bastard. Problem gelöst. God damn it. Okay, so. All right. We learn a little bit more about the Scharnhorst here. In the fact that torpedoes are still fucking bad no matter what we're in. Ich brauche dringend Hilfe. And don't ignore uh, torpedoes on our side. This seems pretty obvious. Okay, so. Perhaps we can kill a bit of time here circling around. And hopefully, it seems like the torpedoes is actually out of range now, so we won't have to deal with him. So maybe we can keep this island between us and the Mogami and wait for our repair party to come back up and kill this this lovely German destroyer that's steaming right at us was now launched his torpedoes so he's actually in well in actually are probably the best situation we could actually get him in torpedo less and in secondary range Secondary Jan, come on now, get in there. Add a girl. Well, that's a big horrifying shotgun. Come on, Secondary Jan, you can do it. Come on. All right, then. All right, then, we're still in this fucking fight. Turpets, though. Is he shooting at us, though? He is aiming at us. So I'm going to turn the boat so that we don't get fucking shot, but now he's turned away. Okay, so now we got to deal with the Mogami and the Kagro. Hopefully we can get into open water. Maybe kill some more time before uh, our repair party comes back online. Give us even more health. The Mogami is out of range. The Turpets is, is going to be our big issue. Where is the battleship on our flank? Where is the North Carolina? All the way the fuck down there. Gee, thanks, buddy. All right. It looks like by the time we're actually ready to engage again, we're going to have that repair party, so at least we're going to be back up to half health. Game is still pretty even, though we're winning by points. There's a large engagement self. Hopefully that Kagro is not snaking around to try and capture the point again, because I don't really want to run into him right now. However, he gives me 26 seconds, I'll be much, much more, uh, inviting. Okay, the Turpus is turning back into that fight, and it looks like the Mogami and, uh, the Kagro are probably going to try and regroup with the Turpus, if they're, well, if they're smart, and they want to annoy the shit out of me, which they probably do. I am detected, which means the Kagro is close. 
I wonder where he could be. Right in front of us. Oh, it's the Mogami. Alright then. He might actually have a stand-up fight. I don't have to rush in just yet. I wanna see I wanna see if we can actually spot the Kagura before we do anything crazy. See, I'm learning. Also, I am perfectly capable of fucking shooting him to shit from this position. Okay, since he's, you know, he's so damn adamant about shooting HE, I'm just going to expose my belt here and probably try and get some distance between me and these islands so the Kagro doesn't fucking sneak up on me. However, now I can't see him. There's the Kagro behind me. All right, then fine. We'll keep going this way. Make my job easier for me. Why not use the repair party to keep as many hit points on the boat as possible? Oh, look, he launched torpedoes at us. Good thing we avoided them. Honestly, fucking... That's what I hate about torpedo dodging as well. Torpedoes are fucking really annoying in the fact that you can't... You see... That one's gonna hit me. I can't see them coming. The only way I can actually dodge them is simply by just guessing. That really should have done more damage. Have you forgotten about someone, Mogami-senpai? Nothing? What the fuck? Those aren't even angled, they're just crashing down on the turrets and they're not penetrating. Come on, Sean Horse, pull it together here. Nothing. It's not that he's even angled, either. They're just hitting the deck and not doing a damn thing. That one did something. Where are you going, slippery son of a bitch? Come on, get the fuck in here and put him down. Come on. Good! Good, I am pleased, Scharnhorst. Now we gotta worry about the destroyer up here. For which we will actually load HE. A Magi doll. But he's got two enemy. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna expose myself to the, the Kagro just yet. We're gonna try and see if we can actually maybe pick at the Amagi who's gonna be literally right in front of us. So, we're not tur turning our belt to him. But he's got enough problems, so maybe we can just make it worse. Okay. Fucking dead man switch torpedoes. Okay. Nothing. Okay, so the AP is not as redonkulous as I expected it to be. Jesus, that's deck armor. Alright then, now for the Kagro. Let's see if we can go find him. I think I know where he is. Those repair parties certainly helped, though. We, we actually managed to recover after catastrophically losing almost all of our health. Though she's not performing quite as well as I expected, she's certainly actually 
maybe showing signs that I could actually be in the boat that I need to be in. Alright, so where the fuck is that car drop? I'm amazed that he's shooting and I can't actually spot him. I know he's out here, I just have no idea where the fuck where. Benson can hopefully light for us. Where are you, son of a bitch? I know you can see me! Problem is, he's gonna be launching torpedoes at me, too, so maybe we should probably... Yeah, yeah uh, you motherfucker. There he is. Son of a bitch. This is for my paint. Keep him busy, Benson. Going full tilt? Fine, we'll aim full tilt. Those are going in. Come on, get him. Ah! Damn it. Alright, Benson, pull back. I'll handle this. I got bone to pick with this. Uh... Oh. Well, good. He can't hit you either. I got another destroyer on my flank, too. Fantastic. Once again, firing inside my range. Cannot see him. Fine, blind fire. Tracers work both ways, I hope. Nope. Can't fucking see him. The only thing I can do is just keep steaming towards him and hope I actually spot him. Maybe actually get lucky and trace those tracers back to where the fuck he is. Now he's fired. Well, he stopped firing, so obviously he's probably launching torpedoes at me right now. And we don't have any repair parties, so we're just gonna put that out immediately. Where the fuck is he? What's out this way? Give it about five seconds, and now he's firing again. Yep! Son of a bitch. I'm getting wise to your shit, boy. Okay, somewhere around there. Come on, Sharnhorse, give me a kill. Nope. Benson, are you firing torpedoes at me? I think he's moving back in a straight line, I just can't actually trace him. Wait, no, those are actually pretty close. Again! What is this? He's fucking invisible! He should be over there, right? Yeah, he's going that way. Fuck am I supposed to do? Aside from just try and try and fucking get at him. This is annoying as fuck. This is one of the parts where, yeah, you realize that, yeah, it's kind of a shit game. There are some artificialities built into the system. Some of which are incredibly fucking silly. I'm gonna get torpedoed here, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Well, the only thing I've got here is that hopefully he'll run into the fucking islands and then have no space to actually come get me. He stopped firing, so obviously torpedoes are coming at my face. So we're just going to be really unpredictable here in terms of our movement and just sort of uh, serpentine like a motherfucker. Hopefully we avoid the torpedoes again. Pull some crazy Ivan shit. The fucking mysterious disappearing Kagero! The fucking magical waifu! This, this Kagero is a fucking magical girl! That's what's happening! Aha! 
Well, fucking finally, Madoka! And the game ends. <laughs> that was fucking dumb. I got Dreadnought, though. <laughs> Great, more flags. I'll take that. That was fucking stupid, though. I managed to actually recover and do, you know, a little bit more uh, help to my team than, you know, beforehand, even though I'm still not doing very much damage. But that was fucking stupid. Now let's play one more game before we have, hop back into port and retake that task, since we, remember, we gotta get three of those, so we gotta do that one again. And we'll go see how Yugen's doing. Poor girl. I don't want to think we've... I don't, I don't want her to think we've replaced her. Hmm. Alright. Tier 7 game. Doable. Mostly cruisers. Nagatos are big and scary, but... Um, hmm. We'll be able to hopefully manage something here. The AP feels really inconsistent on this ship, but then again, I haven't been able to get in range to really shoot at stuff. But, well, we can force enemies into a corner is what we can do. If they have torpedoes, it might be a bit of an issue, but we can force them into a corner. Alright then. We're going this way. Any of you apes want to come along? You're welcome. We've enlisted the help of the Bolsheviks. Fantastic. Send that fighter up. So what we're gonna do is actually, you know what? Let's ha let's use this for once in our lives. That's about where we're gonna go. And then, well, let's keep heading in that direction unless something happens. I only use that fucking map view for cruiser. Uh, I'm sorry, carriers. But well, um, well, it'll give us a chance to actually shoot. So we got a Kirov coming at us, and it's probably a destroyer lighting us up. Hmm. We can hit the Kirov. Those actually look pretty good here. Come on. Oh! Very nice! Good form, Sharnhorst. Good form. Poke the Nagato. All right, no fires. We're fine. Nagato, we are a little bit fast on the Nagato, but uh, all right. We are advancing, and we have our support behind us. We will lead the way and be ready to shock the ever-loving crap out of anything we can find. Well, 
There's our destroyer friend. That's the fucker we're gonna have to worry about. I want to get him in a position to where he can't fucking torpedo us, but that's going to be a bit of a hard one. Did one of those hit? Went right through the fucking boat, though. Well, there are the torpedoes. We're just going to keep our fucking foot on the throttle here. Ow. Nagato Senpai, please. He has stopped. They push right off the fucking turret. Nice. Man, those two... <laughs> them torpedoes are slow. Alright. Bring up the repair party. Nagato looks like he's busy with someone else. Now he's probably looking at us. Oh, hi there. Well, there's that. Oh, boy. Uh, ow. All right. Not too bad. Took in a few hits. Not the end of the world. Now with the destroyer gun, we can actually get in close and fucking go fisticuffs with this goddamn Nagato. However, they have a Mutsuki over there, which is even goddamn worse. Just making my day... ...the worst that they could manage. All right, so. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Those are a little bit left. One of those is getting in, though. Doing nothing at all. Okay, so the Masuki is turning around. Okay. Uh, angle the boat. <laughs> Ow. Well, at least the repair party's fucking up and going. That's good. This Matsuki, though. This is gonna be our problem, so we want to get rid of him as soon as humanly possible. Over-penetrations. You know, I'm starting to think that all that I heard about the Scharnhorst uh, getting away with uh, citadeling destroyers is uh, not exactly true. I think I've been the victim of false advertising. Also, they shot down my plane. Okay, so we got some backup from the Nagato. I want to get this fucking destroyer so I can move around without worrying about getting torpedoed in the face. But we can probably ignore- annoy the Nagato in, in the intervening time. Nagato sent by annoyed. Mission accomplished. Where the fuck is that Matsuki? Once again, the fucking magical girls. Gaha! Uh, yeah, we're taking. Hey, only one. Also, we got Citadel by the fucking Nagato. God damn it! Fucking magical girls. Okay, so we're pro we're gonna have our repair party, but once again we have to worry about the fucking Matsuki fucking shooting torpedoes at us from distant from places we don't fucking know. Let's try and switch to AP. They're running out of map. That's about the only thing we can actually hope for. Okay, at least he's not looking at me. The Congo is it, it's a Congo. I hope I, I I really ho I really hope that that was gonna be something better than a Congo, but. It's Congo. 
And now he's turning his guns to shoot at me! And none of those shots did any fucking damage. Ah, slam on the brakes! Stop the boat! Okay, okay, good. There's that. Right over the fucking boat. You know what? Switch. Fuck this. I'm shooting. I'm switching to AG. Nicholas, take me as your namesake and please kill the fucking magical girl. Just, just, just put her down. Matsuki is way to fuck over there. Good. Worry about. Actually, we can still shoot at her. We have a gun on our ass. <laughs> I'm going to multitask. Come on. Oh. Ah. Ah. No witchcraft in these parts. I am, however, in no doubt that he probably launched torpedoes at me. And the Nagato has finally run out of map. We've got you cornered, senpai! Now, if only I could actually hit you. And also, that Congo is just absorbing fire quite nicely, isn't she? Okay, I don't see no torpedoes. I think we're all right. <laughs> Look at her, this cornered beast. And now we will brawl. Or rather, I will shoot torpedoes at you. This kill is mine. <laughs> About fucking time! Jesus Christ! You know, I'm starting to form a bias here. I like the Shornhorst. I like everything about the Shornhorst. I just wish it was faster. I know a battleship- yeah, you know, a battleship that goes, you know, more than 30 knots here would be, you know, is a bit unrealistic and nonsensical. But, um, it seems to be the issue here that I can't fucking catch up with people. Also, one that can spot destroyers. I want to spot the magical girls. I want to find them. They cause me trouble. I'm not exactly the Prince of Darkness here, but they're certainly getting on my fucking nerves. All right, now we just sail back. We will be able to engage this uh, this Kirishima fairly soon here. And there we are. However, he is moving in a direction to where, he, yeah, by the time those shots get to them, he's going to be out of range. But we'll fire once for our entertainment. And he is already gone. Oh well. My thoughts exactly. However, we're still alive and we're actually functioning in the boats. Fonto is actually playing the game sort of right. This is an amazing occurrence, even though it is not all of the joy that I wished for. Mainly because people keep running and uh, fucking disappearing magical girl destroyers. But we will learn, we will learn. The last enemy ship is way the fuck over on the other side of the map, so we're not gonna get him. If he doesn't immediately die in the engagement that is in front of him, he is uh, apparently dealing with a, an Omaha. What is he? A Colorado. Colorado versus Omaha. Gee, I wish I was over there to see this shit. 
Can the Omaha do it? He's got torpedoes. He might be able to pull this off. <laughs> Actually, no, it was the Yorick. Okay. All right, then. We are performing better. We are actually... We actually somewhat look like we know what the fuck we're doing. Amazing. I thought you, you thought you'd never live to see it. Though we're not exactly uh, destroying the entire world here, but we certainly are making progress. So now let's go back into port and pick up that task again.